Alright, it's time for the jungle level. Alright, so, one thing about this, uh, about this video that might be a little weird is that I actually added in my own background music because this uh, level actually has no uh, music in the background so all you hear is this weird crap so yeah now here's a big problem about the level the the enemies are camouflage colors now that alone isn't that bad but because there's so many trees and you know so much um, shit going all around you it's um it's really hard to see them sometimes. Like, you'll see me get, uh, like, snuck up on a lot. Now, another thing that's interesting is that this is actually a, uh, cooperative level. Like, I don't mean there's two players, you just play with, uh, you, you're just also with Natalia. So yeah, this is a kind of interesting level. At least Natalia can defend herself, unlike the other ones where you just kind of, you know, ran. So anyway, I see, I see an enemy, and he doesn't see me yet. So now I'm gonna try trying to switch over to my gun, and I just took out the gun turret, uh, which is one of my objectives, is to take out all the gun turrets, and now Natalia is uh, killing everyone, and she only needs one shot to hit, because um, she has the gun, which, uh, even in max stats, it will actually take out the enemies. So now I'm trying to get the, uh, the body armor, and uh, I'm progressing through the level. And right there, another enemy I couldn't see because of both the flora and the, and the fauna, and whoa. Well, well, I didn't see him, but if you notice right there, that was weird. Um, he actually kind of like was pushed back a couple of feet by that bolt. That was that was interesting. Anyway, so so now I'm just taking care of that guy, care of that guy, and apparently someone snuck up behind me. I didn't think it was someone behind me. I thought it was just someone up the road or or path. But apparently, he snuck up on behind me and uh, hit me a couple times. Alright, so now I'm trying to uh, look ahead to see if I can get the turret. And uh, one thing that's interesting I'll talk about is um, is that uh, Hideo Kojima, he actually said he wanted the Metal Gear series to originally be kind of like this level. Well, he didn't say that interest specifically. I meant uh, that he wanted it to be in a jungle. But a big problem was that the technology at the time was not good enough to create a fully living, breathing jungle. Alright. But this did a pretty good job. And now I'm looking around. Now, if you might have seen a few seconds ago, you might have seen an enemy out of my peripheral vision. And now I got three enemies all in the same region. There's one on my left, but I didn't see him. He ended up taking a lot of my armor damage. I mean, he ended up taking a lot of my armor. And now there's a guy behind me. Again, I don't see him. So yeah, enemies can go around you. Yes, I like this game too, Natalia. So I'm going around here, and I found the armor, and I'm going to continue on. So yeah, and now there's, okay, there's more enemies. Now I'm, now I'm getting really paranoid at this point, because I've been <laughs> snuck up on so many times. It's just freaking insane. Now I'm, I'm hoping I can take that guy out in enough time to get out, get back behind the tree, but apparently I wasn't. And now Natalia took out one, uh, one of the enemies. And... <laughs> Okay, you gotta notice that. I always have to be careful around her, but she, if the enemy's in front of me, she doesn't even care. So now I'm going ahead and try to find the turret, and I didn't need to find the turret, it found me. By the way, the song in the background, if you don't know, is uh, Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. I felt it fit. Um, now I'm progressing through. There's only one enemy left uh, through this small path. And I noticed that my gun actually tilted upward right there. So, and Natalia actually took care of the enemy. So that's it. Now I can just keep going forward. Now, uh, the enemy here is uh, Xenia from the movie. Now, uh, in the movie, she, did, she was not trying to gun bond down. She was actually trying to rape him to death. All right, but so right here, I'm gonna take care of her really quickly. From a distance, I'm just gonna unload on her. So yeah, Xenia is dead. In the movie, she was killed by the natural force of the of the weight of a plane crushing up against her heart uh, and her ribs. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, in the uh, in the movie, uh, Xenia didn't try to kill Bond by um, by the uh, the usual way. It was weird how she tried to kill him. You should probably see the movie to to see it to figure it out. Anyway, now I'm just kind of doing here. Now, here, I have no idea where the enemies are. Either I've always died later, or before this. 
But anyway, I can't see the enemies because it's too foggy. I can't see the turret because it's too foggy. They can't see me because of the outline of the caves. So I have no way of seeing where they are. So I just kind of go out a little until they start firing. Alright, now background music has just started. And I killed one, but more ended up shooting at me. Now I'm trying to get in a 90 degree angle so that I can get to see them faster. And this is weird. Look at the first what the first guy does. He actually goes, he doesn't stop as soon as he sees me, he just goes right in front of me, which is weird. But anyway, a uh, new background song, it's er, it's um, Cliffs of Dover by Eric Johnson. So now I'm going to check in that cave to see if there's anyone there. Uh, there, there really isn't uh, anyone there, but I wasn't aware of that at the time. And there's still the gun turret that's pointed at me uh, straight ahead, and I do know about that. So now I'm trying to get it, and line up my sights, and just unload on it. One more part of my mission completed. And apparently I saw someone there. I didn't see him right here through this video, but... You know, he's pretty, uh... Pretty difficult to see. So yeah, I was trying to get one guy's attention. I was wondering where they, he saw me, but he did. And now I'm just waiting for him. 90 degree again. And for some reason, they always, like, have a delayed reaction. Like, they don't stop. And now I'm just gonna... Trying to get the second guy here. And you get him up front. Now there's a guy up uh, further. Well, there's li a guy literally up, and I think he's uh, there for later. You know, just uh, keep him on his toes. But you can actually take get rid of him uh, later, early. Now here, I'm trying to go stealthily because directly right here, there's a gun turret waiting to just surprise you. Yeah, that 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 scared the hell out of me first time playing this uh, level. So I'm going to take out my mines to get rid of this um, small ammo horde. Why they gave me six, I'm not sure. Anyway, objective C completed, and my ne and another objective is going to be completed. I, I used the handgun just because it was the gun that was readily available to me. So yeah, objective A is also completed. It's weird. Now, I have no idea where Natalia is. Now, I heard a grenade drop, and I have no idea where that was. Too slow. I really have no clue where Natalia is. Uh, I think she's up the cave, but I'm not sure. So now I'm going here. I'm just trying to check, get the enemies one by one. And now I'm seeing that Natalia is actually around the corner of the cave. And okay, that was really, really close. Sorry. Right, so now I'm going here, collecting the ammo. And these guys are really weird. They're they're not shooting. They're just they're aiming. I'm not sure if they can see me, but they're aiming. They're always like that. By the way, I gotta point out, why the hell is Natalia keep squatting? It's like she's teabagging someone, teabagging someone on the floor. Now this is like the worst position I could have possibly chosen. Because Natalia just keep getting in my range. And for some reason, Natalia right there went further up. I think I was pushing her or something. Now this is an epic failure right here, look. I unloaded on half my... <laughs> I uh, unloaded half my my clip into the freaking guy, and I only hit one bullet. You can say I fail. I don't care. Spell it with a PH, if you will. Ah, crap. Alright, well, I really don't have much to say here. Anyway, uh, oh, this is something I should point out. I really should have used the RCA gun for that. Um... Because I, I don't use the RCA enough. It's actually a very good weapon and it's stronger than the typical weapons. But the thing is, you can't see that far ahead. Like, that's the main, that's the good thing about the uh, assault rifle. Now I'm going to get rid of one group of guys with the grenade launcher. And another group of guys with the grenade launcher. Now I'm going to rush in. I'm trying to switch my weapon, but I don't realize that I just have a, a crappy weapon. Now I take damage. And I, the first gun that's readily available to me, I just shoot everyone. Six guys. Oh yeah, got one. And I got seven. So alright. Now this is the end of the mission. As long as I'm viewing the elevator, there's no more regenerators. Walking backwards and Font and Natalia win. Yay. The jungle. Not, not that hard, but not that easy. Anyway, a good amount of accuracy. The U.S. gun is the, my most used. Onward to control!